Hello Internet, today we are going to be modifying this color fading shader that we built previously and making it a little bit, I don't want to say better, but different. Uh, so right now, this is what it does uh, when I click this toggle. It kind of shifts between one color and the other. Uh, and so that's all controlled through this here. So we have black and white as sort of our defaults. We can make that any color we want and then shift back between them like this. So now it's between red and white. But what I want to do is add a third color into the mix, uh, which is sort of, how can I show this, 0.5. Sort of in the middle. So as it's transitioning, that transition line is a third color. Uh, so I'm picturing for like stream savers, that concept of a game that you can kind of upload onto your stream and let your your viewers play i want sort of you to be able to customize this so that you have sort of something that is similar to your your channel's theme and so i'm thinking that this line can kind of be part of that not the not the entire thing necessarily but part of that entire thing so that's the effect we can probably keep it at that slower slower rate uh, and I, I'm hoping this is a super quick effect. It shouldn't be too hard to pull off unless I'm unless I've missed something and then it doesn't work well. But I think we can do this in three ways. Instead of doing this, I want to change this into a another set of options, which means we don't have a mask selection anymore. That's not really what we're doing. Uh, we have a mask primary and a mask secondary, and that's going to be uh, less than, oops, greater than this. And then instead of doing this uh, one minus, we can do the mask secondary and then the mask primary here. Now this does miss the complete middle point, so that should be completely black. Uh, it will probably get missed because we actually don't actually i got rid of black so never mind we might see some black speckles and that's because there's a point missing if this is 0.5 both of these will be false for example that's sort of how we're going to do the transition at least that's sort of my my idea for how this is going to work and so if i save this it should we should see the same effect or close to the same effect that's not right <laughs> so if i play this it looks normal. That's great. Now what we want to do is have a third color, which is going to be our mask accent. And I'm just doing these as like scalable things. Uh, and this is just going to be mask primary times, uh, times plus or and or That'll work. Mask secondary. And so this will be one if either of those are true. And then we can just add an accent color onto here, which means mask accent times our accent color. That This function's getting a little bit uh, long. So let's split that onto three lines just so it's a little bit easier to kind of tell what's going on. And that's a little bit easier. So we need this accent color defined. So I'm just going to stick it here. Fixed four, like that, not like that. Just one underline will be fine. <laughs> All right. And then our accent color can come up here. And there we go. Oops. We have to actually call this the accent color though. All right. So now we have an accent color. And so what I want to do with this is have sort of a, a barrier on either side which kind of nudges the the check in either direction because we're not gonna even though we added that ability to draw an accent color let's make it I don't know pink purple that kind of stands out okay I did the entire thing in the accent color that's not right <laughs> we need to this is true if either of those are true. I want the inverse of this, 
which means uh can i do this i'm i'm not super familiar with how with boolean uh logic in shaders so i'm kind of guessing here but i think i should be able to use a not and then that should go away okay there we go so now we have our secondary uh, color being shown right now uh, switches back to the primary and then I should be able to do a fade and there's no purple well uh, we need a way to show it so in order to do that I'm gonna add a, a barrier I was kind of talking about this earlier but uh, what do we call it the accent barrier size that's a long name but it kind of mean means what I want it to mean <laughs> barrier size there we go float and we'll set this equal to like 0 0.02 not entirely sure where where i'm going with that but uh we're gonna have to figure it out so half accent barrier size and then we need to to modify this a little bit so we have this transition position which is where we are in our transition and so I need to shift these in two different ways. Uh, so another way to, to think about how this whole function is lining up is we have our, let's see here if I can define this better. We have our mask primary is greater than our, less than our transition less than the transition and our secondary is greater than it so this is sort of the the formula we're kind of looking at uh, just based on these two things so in order to get this to work we are going to need to either add and subtract from the transition or yeah i think that's probably the best way uh so Let's see, mask primary is this way. I think I'm going in the right way. We're gonna we're gonna find out because I always find uh, trying to figure out which direction to send things in, at least in these kind of formulas, is not the best way to approach it. You can usually just solve it by plugging things in, uh, and it becomes fairly obvious if it isn't correct, and then you can just go and flip it. Uh, when you're doing more complicated things, it can help to kind of draw it out. But for me, for basic things, I just like to kind of plug them in and, and kind of, if it doesn't do what I'm expecting it to, then flip it around and hopefully it works. And if that doesn't work, then go back to the drawing board and, and figure it out from there. I don't think this is going to do exactly what we want, but we'll see. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So there's our purple, which is at least indicating that we're kind of close and we do get a purple on the side so okay we did do the correct thing uh kind of pause it there and you can sort of see uh, that red is really not the best color for this let's go back to black and then the purple really stands out uh, and so the purple is sort of the transition the problem is is we transition too far and so it's always showing when it's completely transitioned i don't want these transition lines to show so i think we're going to this isn't necessarily my favorite way of doing this uh actually that might work float barrier size equals accent barrier Oops, that's not right. Equals the accent barrier size. And so we're just gonna use a barrier size like this. So everything's the exact same. I haven't changed anything. I've just introduced this variable. We're gonna modify it though. I don't know if this is the best way to do this. I, I'm kind of making it up on the spot. But what I'm thinking is if our transition is zero or one, then we have fully transitioned which means uh, if uh, barrier size, uh, to go back to this, because I'm kind of skipping over a bit, if we have fully transitioned, I want to reduce the barrier size to zero. 
which means I need to come up with a Boolean function that evaluates to false and multiply it by the accent barrier. That makes sense, because then the entire thing just becomes zero. Uh, so barrier size equals our barrier size times and then our function, which is going to be transition equals zero. Uh, and, and that will not work because I, want, I need the inverse of that, so not equal to zero. If it's not equal to zero, then it becomes one, and then this just evaluates to true. And then I need an or, <laughs> which I hadn't thought of. So I think we can do an add here, kind of moving from Boolean logic into algebra if that makes any sense. So instead of doing a bunch of Boolean logic to kind of get all of this working, well, I guess that would work too. We can just do an or. <laughs> well, I don't know what I'm thinking, but this will work. Transition is not equal to one. So if it's equal to either of those, uh, hold on, equal or equal there, then we want to not. So if it's equal to e either zero or one, we fully transitioned, and then this becomes not, which means that one, that true becomes false, which is zero, which reduces our entire thing down to zero, and it fails. If it's any other value, we're fine. This should uh, work. I'm a little bit hesitant because floating point stuff, but in my head, this makes sense. So we're gonna find out. We should, it should be fairly, that didn't work. <laughs> should be fairly obvious because if it didn't work, we'd see this. So we can transition up and it's, it's still doing the thing. Uh, why is that? Transition equals zero. Transition equals one. Okay, well that's just overriding it. So it doesn't, our script was overriding the, the value. So if we say uh, less than or equal to 0 0.01 or greater than or equal to point, uh, 0 0.099, sure, 0 0.9, that's not right, 0 0.99. <laughs> going all over the place, but it's fine. <laughs> this will kind of work. I, it's similar to what we did with this fudging of the mask strength here. We could, uh, there was a comment in one of the videos for reducing the transition below zero and one. So instead of having the range be between zero and one, we actually go from like negative 0 0.01 to 1.01. Uh, that would do the exact same thing. I we actually probably, it might save you a little bit from like rounding things, but I don't know if the, I don't know if it's any different. So, so we're just going to keep, keep with this and kind of try to keep everything in the same solution idea, if that makes any sense. So trying not to do two, go in two different paths. Uh, not sure if that, that really addressed that top topic, but anyway, <laughs> This seems to work now. You can see it's all white, which is good. And then I can actually do the transition. We get the nice purple. There is the flash just because of the way this texture is set up. There's a lot of white here. Uh, that may have just opened Photoshop. Nope. But you can see like down here, there's a significant amount where it's just straight white. And at the top, same thing. It's just straight black. You can't really tell because the blacks are hard to tell. Um, but that, that's what's happening. And so this texture is what is causing those jumps at the end. It's not anything wrong with our algorithm necessarily. It's just wrong with the picture that I'm using. So we can fix that in a bunch of other ways. I'm not going to go too deep into that because it, it's just, just a thing. <laughs> well, we can change all of these accent colors now and get this fun transition. So there's yellow. Uh, and we can go to all sorts of other fun things. Let's do like orange. Orange might look cool. So there you go. There's sort of a, a really simple transition thing. 
you could probably pair this with our dissolving shader that we've built uh, so that there's sort of a ring around the outside. I think we already did that, but um, that, that would be another uh, implementation of something similar to this. But for this, it's just more of a, a way to kind of spice up the effect and give it, make the transition a little bit more customizable and more impactful, I guess. Um, yeah, I guess we'll, we'll see. I'm picturing it going a lot faster, so I think 2.5 was what I had set it on, where it's almost impossible to actually see it, but it's still there. Uh, and I think that's kind of the way I like my effects is so they're not overwhelming and they don't take away from what you're actually doing, but you can kind of see them. Kind of rambling here, so I'm going to wrap this up. I think this is where I wanted to get. So yeah, that's it. Uh, if you guys have suggestions on how we could improve this or other ideas or suggestions for other projects, let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do. We have a Discord channel. There's a link in the description. If you guys want to come in uh, chat, uh, have some questions or just want to share some cool programming stuff you're doing, then come and join that. It's yeah, free to anybody, I guess. So unless, as long as you're, you're a cool person. <laughs> so yeah, there's that. Uh, until next time. See you, internet.